That is a person from Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes. When we entered the computer room, we saw a girl sitting in front of the computer. This is Jane. I met her on the third floor. Hi. Hi. Have you been alone the whole time? Yes, you were looking at some weird stuff. I was in the cafeteria with everyone, but the, but the bullies took all the food and caused a scene. Everyone is probably still in the cafeteria. Anyways, what's this? Computer stuff. Trey points to the computer screen. The screen is blue. I was curious about it too. It is Windows. Windows? Who uses Internet Explorer? So I looked at Oscar. Oscar, my bad. We were looking for ways to end this whole thing, just like you guys. This is what I found here. It's documented 20 years ago. 20 years ago, that's obsolete. Relevant information is 5 to 10 years old. It looks like a map. Yep, it's a map. A map of this building. But it looks different. That's the important part. Instead of the classrooms, there are laboratories. So Oscar and I were speculating that the school was a research facility before, and you can even see journals left by the researchers. A journal. Hmm. 19XXXX experiment number 137 was very successful. At this rate, we might be able to bring it to life soon as the boss said we can do it. Our school was a research facility. I never knew. It's a news for us. Thanks for letting us know. Person, let's tell this to our teacher. Let's go to the teacher. What's the point of telling him their school is a research facility? He probably already knows it. Oops, I clicked too fast. My bad. Where should we go? To the cafeteria. Let's start what I can do. Passage to the basement will be on the first floor. As soon as I opened the door, the loud room suddenly became quiet. What's going on here? Hi. What do you want? That's the bully, not student. That's bully. I thought it would be helpful to share some information. That's also a bully, not student, too. So, why don't we find a way out together? If we all unite, we'll be able to escape. How? Uh, um, at this moment, we don't know. But we'll be able to figure it out soon, because you don't know what to do. Also, we had to run away from the Medusa without eating anything. So, could you share us some food? Oh, you didn't figure out a way to escape, but you're trying to grab our food? It would be suicidal to walk around so carelessly. We'll wait here for the rescue. Well, you're all pricks. There is no food for you now. Get lost. Unlike... What we expected, we were faced with a cold response. But, enough. Nothing's going to change their selfish minds. It's not even worth it. Let's go. Oscar left the cafeteria because he was upset and angry. This person, who looks like she's from Doki Doki Literature Club, says, person, let's go. I said, get lost. Ouch. Wow, y'all pricks. Jane was knocked down. By the push of the bully. Somebody gonna die. Are you okay, you bastards? I'm fine, let's go. I'm scared. Jane's leg is bleeding. I helped Jane get out of the cafeteria. How nice. To heal Jane's wound, we went to the infirmary, which was right next to the cafeteria. The pure white color of the infirmary contrasts with the outside. Coming to a bright spot suddenly makes my eyes hurt. Sit here. I can do this alone. Stay still. I'll do it for you. Judging by the smell, it seems like somebody was here just before. The bed covered by the infirmary curtains seems suspicious. Open the curtain. Something is strange. Should I open it? Absolutely. Oh my god, that's a dead body. On the bed, there was a body of the school nurse lying down with blood around it. Examine. Uh... I put my hand on the nurse's neck, but I couldn't feel anything. It seems that the nurse was not attacked by the Medusa. Look, there's a hand there. It was choked. 
It seems to me that somebody killed her by strangling her neck. Who the f would do this, demonetized? Huh. What is this? The nurse was holding a yellow sticky memo paper. I took the sticky memo from her hand and read it. Oh my god. I think we should go back to the cafeteria. The cafeteria was crowded, so it would be pretty safe there. Also, if this turns out to be a clue for us to escape, maybe I can find help from the bullies, unlike before the cafeteria was awfully quiet. What the hell does this smell? It's demonetized. As soon as the door was open, I could smell a foul stench. Everyone's dead. The smell. I f it felt like a smell was warning us. Was a warning to tell us not to go further. But on the sticky memo, it said "meat for feeding" two three hashtag seven apostrophe period. I guess these numbers are for organizing the meat. The cafeteria, once filled with students, was now empty. Did everyone go to another place? We went into the cafeteria. Kia. Jane's scream made us stop. Oh my god. What? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. I looked at where Jane's eyes were on, and what I saw almost made me throw up. He's missing his whole body. Yuck. There were corpses. They were torn apart to the point it was difficult to identify them. I feel like this one might have been like the red dude. There's a, there's a head over there. I don't know. Okay, there were corpses. They were torn apart. It was difficult to identify them. They probably were the kids from the cafeteria earlier. For God's sake. It's terrible. They didn't deserve this. Well. But we could not hear anything when we were in the infirmary. It happened in so subtly suddenly it killed everyone in a, in such a short time it sent shivers down my spine i thought it would be possible to avoid the medusa by being wary of its movement of its moving sounds besides if i had not been kicked out of the cafeteria it would be i'll go to the storage you will salvage some foods they are foods as well I tried to calm my trembling hands and went to, to the storage. It was a total mess. Maybe the guys that were in the cafeteria missed, messed it up. Yeah, that makes sense. I followed the label to, to moving along. 1-2, 1-38. Huh, why don't... Huh, why don't I see 2-3 hashtag 7 here, question mark? No matter how I look, 2-3 hashtag 7 was not there. The first number always ended in 1. None went beyond 2. What in the h We've got what we need. Let's go if you're done checking 2. Sure. Oscar, we Oscar came back to the storage and talked to me. It was then I heard a rustling movement behind me. Don't tell me it is. Don't tell me it is Survivor. Oh my god. Oh my god, what in the world? Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, we, looked, well, we looked back to check the source of the rustling sound and found student in a horrible state. His face. That's a him? His face was hard to identify as it was covered with blood. Furthermore, the wounds w did not appear to be caused by the Medusa. So y'all just killing yourselves. He had his eyes torn out, which seemed to be self-inflicted injury. Who's there? I can hear a voice. Dot dot dot. Come here. I'll save you from all this. Medusa, she can't do anything if you don't make eye contact. If you have no eyes, you can survive this. The eyeless student was holding a knife. The child crawled towards us. Person, take Jane with you. Let's get out of here. Without gaining any information, we ran away from the cafeteria. Woof. To report to my teacher what happened so far, I went back to the school office. However, he wasn't there.
teacher? I guess he's not here. Wait, isn't that Trey over there? Oh, it's you guys. The teacher went somewhere. What's going on? I have something to say to him. Were you here the whole time? Yes, I was helping him. I am class representative, after all. Are you okay? Not in the slightest. Anyone could tell that Jean was in a bad state. Yes, but I'm so scared. Medusa is scary, too. But I am more scared about the students. Jane begins to cry. Don't cry. Hey, you don't need to cry about it. Trey and Oscar tried to comfort Jane. I thought it would be it wouldn't be necessary for me to engage. Huh. The drawer was open, every drawer in the school office was supposed to be locked. Let's check it. Sir. Okay, notes. Hmm, what do they say? Rather strange. Perhaps it's a message from the principal. The feed is prepared. Status check twelve apostrophe apostrophe ten dot fourteen forbid access to the basement. October fourteenth. That's yesterday. What kind of order is it? There are other files underneath the note. It looks like a file that conveys the identities of the researchers. The nurse. They are law. These are all our school's faculty. Teachers were involved in the research institute too. You all are test subjects. You all are going to die now. I couldn't understand a thing. It feels as if something's disturbing my thought process. Ah, what is it? Teacher! You guys are all here. What happened to you guys? Yeah, yeah, you know, we almost died. Uh, Oscar begins to talk about what has happened so far. The teacher's face turns serious, and he listens to the story. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. Ha. Ah. When Oscar finished the story, the atmosphere of the school office turned heavy. The teacher roughly swept down his face and began to talk. At this point, I have to tell you everything. The fact is, our school was... Hey, Mr. Kim, this is how you this is how you handle things at work. Teacher. Somebody reported that they heard pounding noise from the first floor. What's going on? You still couldn't have it under control? That's I can't control the Medusa. That's why I locked it in the basement. Well at least you could do the least you could do is not make it obvious. You're right, I have nothing to say. Are you even feeding it properly? Right, now all we give is pork, but that won't be enough. Mr. Kim, haven't I told you to change its food? But boss, I mean principal, that's, that's, don't talk back, just do as I say. Say, why don't you start with students from your class? But sir, I can't do that. Now you're washing, now you're washing hands off. I admit, our experience wasn't ethical. But it brought us where we are today. Cover it up. We XX group built a school here. It's too late to just step out of this. If you tried to run away, we would have to kill you and your family. Dot dot dot. I hope you understand what I said. Go ahead and do what I asked of you. Yes, sir. We were the researchers at the XX Research Institute, and, or maybe it's 20, because, like, X is 10, so, like, 20, I'll just say XX, XX Research Institute, and the principal was our boss. After the school was built, he tried to shut us up, and hired us as teachers to make, to take care of the Medusa. We were forced to do it anyways, so basically, we were threatened by the principal and followed his order. Oh my god. Dot, dot, dot. So the nurse, too. Right, she was a researcher, too. I can't believe something like that was happening in our school. Yet, the principal accused me of murder. I feel so guilty that I can't do anything about this. I should have stopped the principal at all cost. Now you crying. 
so sorry for the dead students. Teacher, like, can you call him is it by his name, like, Mr. Kim or whatever? So, teacher, you were also forced. The principal is to blame. If only I knew how terrible he was. Thank you for telling me that, but I bear the responsibility also. Let me tell you how to get to the basement. The entrance is... The entrance to the basement is behind the bookshelf in the principal's office. Let's go there. We head to the principal's office with our homeroom teacher. Here, behind the bookshelf. As the homeroom teacher pulls out the bookshelf, a small door appears. This is the door that leads to the basement. I bet Lena is also down there. Let's go. Let's not go. And we're going to end that here. And we can pick up going down to the basement in next episode. So, be sure to like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new around here. I make content like this most of the time. Bye-bye.